Hello and welcome to the Tomo Chain headquarters in Hanoi, Vietnam. So it is so exciting to be here. Actually, this is thank you so much for inviting me here. And I'd love to hear updates on the company. I know you're one of the global leaders in terms of blockchain and digital wallets and and uh, CEO Long. I mean, just tell us what the past couple of months have been pretty exciting for you. Mm -hmm. Kind of give me a summarization of what Tomo Chain has been doing in the past couple of mm -hmm. months. Yes, thank you for being here in uh, our office. So uh, Tomo Chain Mainnet has been launched in uh, December 2018. And uh, we have been running for more than nine months, uh, stable. And uh, recently, uh, we introduced uh, a new protocol called TomoZs. It allows the token issuer can issue a new token standard called TRC21. Basically, it allows you uh, to send the token and pay the transaction fee with the token itself. Uh, it is an improvement over the TRC20 standard on Ethereum. Um, our team have 40 people working out from our office here in Vietnam. And uh, we always try to bring out a new product and a new technology to the blockchain. Yeah, yeah. well, and, and there's been a lot of dApps uh, that you've decentralized apps that you've been working on as well too, right? So what are those? So, so far we have around 15 dApps uh, running on top of Tomo Chain. Uh, they include uh, financial uh, DApp, gaming, and also uh, the governance DApp. That's uh, a lot of our token holder as using uh, to uh, vote for the master node they want and basically support and secure the network. Mm -hmm. um, now, I know that you've been <clears throat> mainly in Asia up to this point, right? Mm -hmm. But you found out that North America is, has a lot of interest in your product. Mm -hmm. Was that a surprise? And what mm -hmm. do you plan to do about that? So we did the ICO in March 2018, and actually around 40% of uh, our supporters are from North America. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we are very glad to have the supporter all over the world and uh, from uh, you know, America as well. Okay, so and then another goal is kind of just creating your own ecosystem, right, for the company. Mm -hmm. And so explain to me how that would look. Mm -hmm. So, Tomo Chain focus on uh, two big categories right now. Uh, the first one is the gaming, and the second one is uh, decentralized finance. Uh, we think that uh, the two category pose the biggest improvement over the traditional uh, alternative, and um, there need to be more effort, uh, more developer, more application building uh, on top of Tomo Chain and on this uh, area to. Our goal right now is to at least have one or two applications reaching the mainstream uh, user, okay. having up to like maybe one million uh, users in the next uh, one or two years. So let me give you an example. So when I found out that I was coming to Vietnam, mm -hmm. I went to my bank in the United States and asked for uh, $100 worth of Vietnamese dong. Mm -hmm. Just I could get a cab or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, it took them two days. Okay. And then they, they called me and I went into the bank and picked it up. Okay. And, then, and then I was like, wow, wouldn't a cryptocurrency be so much more efficient? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I, you know, it just seems like as we do more global transactions, mm -hmm. that we will need some kind of digital currency to just make everything more efficient. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree? Uh, I think uh, international payment is uh, one big area we can uh, we can improve using the cryptocurrency and uh, blockchain technologies. Uh, for example, like if you are using Tomo Wallet and uh, uh, Tomo Chain, right? You can send up to like one hundred thousand transaction, and it costs you only one Tomo, which is about less than one dollar right now. So the the cost saving is is big using the cryptocurrency. So, and final question, um, I know in the United States, there's a lot of talk about how uh, Vietnam is becoming a, you know, a, a, an economy that's growing, mm. a government that's serious about growing the economy, particularly in the tech sector mm -hmm. and some of these emerging technologies like blockchain, um, with the US-China trade issues, Vietnam's an alternative there. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you just feel about the country overall and where it, where it is right now in terms of technology and economic activity? So I studied in U.S. for nine years, and I came back to Vietnam in 2015 to work on the uh, technology. 
And uh, I, I, I love the coming back here and working from Vietnam because uh, at first it's about being close to the family, but also about, you know, Vietnam is growing. And I feel like I want to stay here and help the country growing even faster. And um, I think the government is uh, very supportive of new technologies and uh, we feel comfortable being here. Uh, for example, we, we don't have any issue with the infrastructure like the internet, the electricity. And uh, with the economy is very global, especially with the crypto industry is very global. Uh, I feel at home staying here and work on, the, work on the, our technology without being at this advantage compared to, to working anywhere else. Yeah, well, and you can get on a plane and go somewhere if you need to. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations on your success and best of luck to you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so thank you thank for you having much. me. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Thank you, Ed. Yeah.